Welcome to our lesson on Texas Swing Rhythm Playing. When I was a kid, I, I used to go to these fiddle contests down in Texas. All these old guys would be playing uh, backup guitar for the fiddle players, making all these strange chords, and I had no clue what they were doing, but eventually uh, I caught on to some of them, and that's what we're going to go over today. It's, it's a Texas Swing style uh, chord progression in the key of G. I'm going to play it through up to tempo first, then we'll slow it down and take it apart. I was just laughing, my little dog was walking through here when I was playing that. But anyway, uh, let's take that apart here. We'll start off, the basic strum, uh, the strum pattern with the, uh, with the right hand on this is that you'd, you'd pick the bass note of the chord first with a downstroke, and then you're going to do a, another downstroke on the remaining strings of the chord. And uh, so we start off here with this G chord, then we go to this uh, G9 with a B in the bass, hit that B note there. Go to a C chord, hit that C note in the bass, then the C sharp with a C sharp uh, for an A chord, then back to G, back to the B note and the G9 chord, and then up here to this A7, and then to a D9. Now, if this feels awkward for you, just a sidebar here, if it feels awkward going from this, uh, this G9 to this A7. I have a lesson on the site about uh, awkward chord changes, and you may want to check that out. It gives you some tricks about training your muscle memory to, to make those changes easy. But anyway, we got up here to this to this uh, D9. Then we start again, G, B in the bass over that G9 chord, then a C, then an A chord with a C sharp in the bass, and then up to a D7 with the A in the bass, and then walk up that E string. That's the first half of the song. The second half is um, we're going to do a G to a E diminished to a A minor 7 to a D7. And we're just going to go through that a couple times. Now on this G chord, oh, you got those, that four chord cycle there, that first chord, that G, you could make any voice in a G you want on that, obviously. You could this type of G, you could bar the first two strings on third fret, or you could make a bar chord up like this. Whatever little lick you want to put in there. And uh, anyway, that's basically it.